is some of the best in impact moments shown on live TV this week. So if you guys do enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get straight into today's video. And News Angle puts herself in one embarrassing moment when she spins around with her dress. <laughs> You're probably wondering what just happened. The camera crew's equipment fell on her leg. <laughs> Soon as this news anchor picks up a phone call, she faints slowly to the ground. Good night. Good night. Olá, boa noite, estou a falar com... Cláudio Melo. Sim? The TV host falls to the ground. Look, she didn't fall into the pool behind her. <laughs> this guy got a bit too nervous being interviewed and I wonder why. The report was showing off the lady's costume, and what she says at the end causes both of the news anchors to laugh. We'll be right back. Yeah, Richard, Camille, take it away. Camille, I feel like you would look very good in this. I really think you could pull it off. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know about that. This TV host got completely embarrassed when she replaces balls with boy. We need a missing link, a five letter word, something ball, something towel, something balls. I mean boys. <laughs> the TV host forgot she was live on TV and she was trying to get dressed in front of everybody. <laughs> a TV presenter was trying to flirt with another guy. I'm pretty sure she forgot she was live on TV. The TV host falls and slips over when dancing with everybody. This news angle was bringing too much attention towards her top, so she had to fix it live on TV. Adam Schiff did resign his leadership post, so it's a brand new hour. I'm Bill Hemmer, live here in New York. Sandra's got the day off. How you doing over there, Julie? I'm doing, I'm uh, doing. The reporter is so annoyed at herself. She apologized on live TV many times, saying she's sorry how she messed up, and just keep apologizing over and over again. Sí, como dices, aquí en Madrid, algunos hospitales han tenido que ser she kicked the ball into the crowd and it hits one of the boys so she quickly ran towards him <laughs> This news anchor lost his job live on air because he ends up swearing because he forgot the cameras were rolling and he didn't realize he was live on TV. Fucking shit. Good evening, I'm Van Tu. You may have seen our newest AJ on NBC North Dakota News and he'll be joining the weekend news team as my co-anchor. Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. Um, thanks, Van. I'm the guest falls over in front of the TV host, and both of them sit down and watch her try to get up. They don't even help. Sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and bring out our first model, Kelly. Oh, oh Kelly. <laughs> oh, my goodness, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm attached. I can't help Kelly. Okay. Just take off your shoes, sweetheart. All right, Kelly's, Kelly's wearing the faux fur. Dancing is all fun and games until you trip over or she tripped over in front of the whole nation.
they brought a snake to the show and one of the presenters made a joke on his friend making out the snake is on the ground causing his friend to completely freaked out but uh, they're very defensive we, came over, well, we should explain we came over near it you just go bang can we can we shot our reporter was trying to explain the sewers, but when she was trying to do so, she slips over on the grass. On a windy day like this, a cigarette butt tossed from a car into a multipile can jump to this grass and to the building. Ow! The woman took off her shoes live on TV, and when the presenter said something, she turned around and laughed. She couldn't hold it in. This news anchor forgot she was live on TV and making weird, funny noises. She was getting warmed up for her speech. Agora o trem gelou aqui. Puta que pariu. É que você tá aí embaixo deles. E aí eu tenho a luz para me esquentar. A luz me esquenta. Oh, Desculpa, gente. Eu não tinha lembrado qual era o primeiro assunto. Faz tempo que eu fiz essa buceta. Vamos lá. Oi? When you bring a rattlesnake live on TV, it's not a great idea. And this reporter found out the hard way when he pointed at the rattlesnake. Okay. Well, what does that mean when the tail goes like that? Oh, oh, oh. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. Did he get you? Calm yeah. Down. Oh, yes. Get him out of here. Yeah, and the uh, EMT. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we always have the MGs yeah. on set when we have an animal like this. We've just called for get... them there and there. Everybody found it hard to understand what the guy was saying, even the assistant in the bottom of right's corner. This man definitely has a thing for news reporters. He tried to grab the mic at the reporter's hand. Then a lady had to step in to help the reporter because the guy wasn't leaving her alone. Pues así es, se iba a celebrar esta manifestación eh, por seguridad, pero eh, bueno, eh, hace tan solo unos minutos ha habido un grupo de extrema derecha que ha accedido hasta esta plaza con bengalas y actitud muy violenta. Todo esto ha contrastado. This reporter was in the jungle reporting the news until a snake fell on his shoulder. Even though the snake was so small, he quickly ran away and the camera guy ran with him. Sure, by avoiding cutting trees. How forest is dense? How forest is a gift? <laughs> The report was testing how cushioned the snow was, but when she jumped on the snow, she screamed in pain. The thing is, is when is that going to happen, and how much snowfall are we going to see between now and then? How about we test how light and fluffy it is? Ready? One, two, two three. <laughs> This is one or the worst and most embarrassing moment ever from a celebrity. She was asking the guy for a hug three times and he says no thanks, causing her to walk away in an embarrassment moment. Charger, like anytime you want to charge up your phone, you just plug it in. Because it's hard to just sleep when you're tired, because people are tired most of the time. I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> that was a nice moment. I don't know who that was. This guest walks down all the stairs, but then he literally missed the last step, falling over. No, 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 the news presenter had the best intro ever. He falls over. Literally seconds before I was set to go live, 
I tripped and fell, and it was BTS to the rescue. They quickly helped me up and we did the interview live. No one at home even- The news company sign falls off from beyond the news anchor. You can tell she thought, what was that bang? But she knew she couldn't turn around because she's live on TV. Entrou em vigor em uma empresa. O Sindicato dos Metalúrgicos de São Paulo espera mais adesões. A news set almost falls down again on a news anchor. But this time it quickly moved out of the way. Voltamos a falar da explosão em um navio plataforma da Petrobras. Opa! O programa ao vivo é assim. Para aqui, 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 volta lá, volta lá, volta. This guy received a phone call live on air. So he completely throws his phone across the room just so he can carry on with the interview. That's what I call dedication. Rất là khó tránh khỏi. Và... À... Như vậy thì... Now that's what I call perfect timing. A guy is literally trying to rob a bank live on air. Lucky the camera is literally on at the time. So they should catch the guy in no time. Tyler, just 24 hours ago, this bank in North... What? Oh, that's the robber. Uh, this is live TV, folks. That's the robber just went by, uh, according to the bank uh, employee. So... I gotta go here and call 911. I'll talk to you later. The reporter forgot he's walking on sand and not concrete. When he was trying to walk on the sand, he slips and falls over. We la tomó, no se cae esta píldora, ¿verdad? Pues dice que se subió aquí y que. Se subió aquí. A news presenter picked up a phone call live on TV and he stumbles and falls to the ground. The reporter was doing an amazing job until he came to a standstill, falls over backwards and starts to laugh. That is still quite impressive. The news reporter heard a loud bang so she walks off the camera slowly, causing one embarrassing moment. This news anchor was so angry with everything he took out on the studio, smashing literally everything up. A tribuna da Câmara Federal explicar isso aí pro povo do Tocantins, porque aqui, aqui. A news presenter was saying farewell to her colleagues, then the camera was recording her from behind saying bye, capturing everybody's attention. The news set completely collapsed on the news presenter, leaving him in shock, but leaving the audience laughing. Porque eu participo, não perco a esperança jamais. Ao vivo, pelo amor de Deus. A pen fell out of the news anchor's hand, and she got scared live on TV just from dropping her pen. Setembro vem aqui para São Paulo. O Jornal Hoje fica por aqui. Você acompanha Ai, outras carinha. notícias do no Jornal Nacional. Eu pego para você. Obrigada. Boa tarde, até amanhã. Boa tarde para você. Amanhã a gente se vê. A news reporter bursts into laughter after hearing a joke from the woman. He couldn't hold it together and stop laughing. Then I don't need a jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> Well, this time this news anchor wasn't so lucky. He was too close to the set to behind him, and it falls on his back live on TV. Cara, para ser comentarista, não precisa jogar bola, não. Comentarista, não precisa jogar bola, não. What? Journalist appears on live TV, and he says a bad word in front of the camera. So they quickly turned off the camera. Jerônimo Moraes, boa tarde, Jerônimo. Muita gente por aí. Aí tá foda, hein? The news anchor hated that the cameras weren't on him and the camera guy was on her instead. So he shows his face on her camera.
The woman folds her legs literally at the wrong time while the camera is on everybody. The reporter fell over as soon as she got up from her chair. A news reporter standing next to the main road way too close and the van that literally just missed him when it drove by. This news anchor thought there was a chair behind him. So when he goes to sit down, he quickly finds out and he falls to the ground. So the channel crew quickly got him a chair. É isso mesmo. A presidente da república. A pre... Pera aí, eu pensei que o negócio estava aqui. Eu pensei que aquele negócio estava aqui, ó. Cê... Quem mandou o senhor tirar esse negócio? Volta aqui. This news reporter definitely felt embarrassed. He got sprayed by a water gun live on TV. Boa tarde. Não, não há sinal de Bruno de Carvalho que até agora. Now that's what you call a perfect timing moment. The reporter was explaining the sidewalk that's collapsed, and the lady appears literally at the same moment and falls over the sidewalk. Trazendo transtorno para o pessoal da terceira idade que acabam, que acabam tropeçando e caindo aqui. Por quê? They did a friend handshake when the cameras were rolling, but soon as they thought the cameras were off, they gave each other a hug. A news presenter falls backward and faints live on TV. A polícia militar foi chamada na zona rural de Ribeirão Vermelho. Sabe por quê? Oh, é, é... This report was trying to get stuck into his job. Until he tries to climb down a hill, it ends up falling over. That's one moment he'll never forget. This news reporter has learned a valuable lesson that day. Never stand next to a pool and hold in the mic because someone might push you in. That's one embarrassing moment he'll never forget. He probably thought in his head, I wish I didn't have that last pie. The news anchor literally knew what was going to happen. They said not again. So this isn't the first time she fainted live on TV. Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson, she joins us live in the studio. Alyssa, this really is the calm before the storm. Not again, <laughs> no. Oh. You know, we're going to go ahead and go to break right now. The weather reporter wore this on purpose on live TV to try to bring in more viewers. And doing things like this literally works. I think more people are watching her than watching the reports. Con cielos completamente despejados, recordemos que las temperaturas mínimas serán también espectaculares de los 14 a los 15 grados Celsius. Así que ya están muy bien informados. Recuerden siempre, no se les olvide que al mal tiempo... Soon as the woman in the background for the cameras were off, she walks past the glass window, forgetting the cameras were still rolling. She didn't mean to throw the plate like that, but it ended up hitting one of the camera guys. They asked her to spell her first and last name, but she completely missed what the guy said and she spelt first and last. She felt like a total idiot. My first and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F I R S T L A S T. <laughs> <laughs> I meant your first and last name. <laughs> 
This TV reporter says on live TV they're shipping Girl Scouts, but he meant their cookies. 880,000 boxes of Girl Scouts will be, Girl Scout cookies <laughs> will be distributed this weekend. You want to clarify that? We don't have boxes of Girl Scout. Boxes of Girl Scout cookies will be delivered. This, week. this guy gets high from the fire behind him live on TV and when he explains what is burning behind him you'll know the reason why. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish and other narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't pronounce a police officer's name properly and she calls she Megadoodoo. To say their final goodbyes to this fallen Louisville police officer, DD Megadoodoo. I'm sorry. What could literally happen by reporting a news next to a football pitch? Well, a ball landed on the reporter's head. He was trying to tell everybody to wear a mask. So we're showing everybody how to put a mask on their face. And this guy is left embarrassed when he can't even do it himself. And bear in mind that this is live on TV. Uh, keep going. Again though, I would uh, encourage Victorians uh, where you cannot social distance and uh, you are in proximity to other people to please wear a mask. She got confused between peanuts and another P word. I will let the video explain itself, but that is totally embarrassing. Began serving peanuts, peanuts this month. Georgia is the top peanuts, pre pre peanut. The TV crew now needs a new mic. The reporter thought she took off her mic, but he got stuck to the sleigh. <laughs> This guy completely forgot he was live on TV and he swears in front of the camera. It involves our intelligence community. Uh, Ken, what have you learned, sir? Oh, shit. Fuck. This reporter spoke his mind live on TV and then he was trying to backtrack. The Bronx section. Sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or a blo block. At least reporter laughed about it because that looks painful. He gets hit full force in the face by a football. With offensive coordinator Tom Quest. With a <laughs> Did you guys just see that football? <laughs> I saw it. Anyway. She asked for a second hula hoop, but she didn't mean it straight to the face. The audience in the crowd was booing at the lady. And when I said audience, I mean the guys, because she says activate the nuts. Pete's um, meal choices. Well, I've got to say, I don't know that I've ever had an activated almond. I, I was listening to all the blokes in the studio this morning. They're all picking through their muesli saying, how do I activate my nuts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, oh, and, oh, well, that was, that was here. I heard it on the floor. And, and so, look, do you know, I just think... Um, they're better when they're activated. Apparently so. Apparently so. I, I'm, I've personally got to Mark my do a little bit... Really? Yeah. So you speak with experience? At least she fell over in the right way off camera and it wasn't captured on live TV. That is one lucky reporter. Here at Somerset House, pretty is spectacularly beautiful. There's even a full bar. So the combination of mild wine and ice is probably potentially pretty dangerous. Especially if you're as rubbish at skating as I am. Oh, oh my God! Daisy Gray, London Today, Somerset. When you hit a vehicle next to you driving in the snow, please run. Kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy... The sign almost got taken away by the train. They definitely didn't think that out properly. It was way too close to the train track. Safety, as you know, is paramount. <laughs> A mic collapses on set on a news reporter's head. 
¿Dónde? Nos ha caído una. <risa> really more accumulating snow, but just a biting, granular, kind of slutty, excuse me, slushy, icy snow. The reporter literally knew what was coming down the hill, and he still stood in the way. He didn't even try to move out of the way. Here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here it comes out. And this. That was a bad idea at Riverside Park. The reporter completely forgot how it sounded live on TV. She says she wants juices all over her neck. Even both of the news anchors couldn't believe she said it. If you are interested in picking some stone fruits up from your local supermarket in the next couple of days, the word is they are 100% dribblicious, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, Georgie and Lisa. It's all about getting those juices on your chest, and that's what they're promoting this year. Well, Georgie and I are hanging out to get some juice on our chest, but you haven't <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> that is it. You promised Emma that we were going to get some of those peaches this morning and we haven't seen a single one. We're this reporter is known to fall into water, especially on live TV. <laughs> And what I mean by known, she falls into the water again by holding on a rope. She thought it was a metal bar. Here wordt binnenkort het grootste paasevenement van Nederland georganiseerd: Seal Kampen. Burgemeester, wat is er nou zo bijzonder aan Seal Kampen? Als je de mooiste. This news anchor gets embarrassed because she couldn't pronounce a certain word. A slight chance of some particip participation. Participate. Per. Per. It's rain. It's going to bring a possibility of some rain that will be moved. The reporter asks, what did she grab before her house is set on fire? And she grabs two pieces and runs outside. She must love pizzas. Um, did you grab anything when you walked out the door? I grabbed nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggy, And we left. That's it. I, I tried to grab some other things. If you did enjoy today's video, then hit or two of my other videos on the screen right now. And if you guys want to see any videos from myself in the future, then please subscribe to my channel enjoy and have a great day i'll see you guys in my next video peace out